today uh, we are going to talk about um, sco open server 5.0.7 sco open server is basically uh, currently it's a synos uh, open server previously it was sco open unix uh, owned by uh, sco is nothing but santa cruz corporation that was one of the very very old uh, um, company around 30 plus years of uh, uh, experience in the operating system and sco open server is basically a unix uh, system version 5 uh, basically the core is um, uh, unix system version 5 and currently it is uh, basically the the open server 10 is based on free bsd and um, uh, it's a very reliable uh, servers previously you know i think the old generation uh, people they are well aware of this operating system and uh, this is very stable sco open server it's an intel based unix stable uh, server operating system most of our uh, oracle uh, databases and uh, uh, predominantly oracle i would say and uh, telecom applications a lot of uh, uh, mission mission critical applications were hosted actually in the sco open server and uh, fortunately i got a wonderful opportunity uh, to work on this uh, sco open server I'm, i w- i will i would like to uh, share those experience with you guys uh, you know uh, definitely so this is you know uh, we are we are installing um, sco open server actually in uh, one of the x or you know x86 server um uh, we put you know the uh, cd uh, 5.0.7 onwards it's cd bootable um and previously uh, it's a floppy disk uh, bootable then it will go to the you know medias uh, operating system media it will extract the media from the you know corresponding uh, media and it will install to the um, uh, hard disk and this is basically an installation first step it started now and um, it's, it's it's easy basically installation is very easy uh, not that complicated um, just you know you have to give the accept the license policies um and we had to ch- we had to we had to you know choose whether it is primary secondary id controller is secondary and you know and whether the the, the cd rom is master or cd drive is master or slave we had to select accordingly and first it will check uh, you know the 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 hard disk uh, whether any uh, bad tracks or not now uh, we are actually giving an inst- you know evaluation uh, license keys here um, because you know this for this is not for protection so just for just experience we have to say just to show you guys actually you know uh, we are uh, doing like this so we ha- it will act you know whether it is upgrade or uh, previously the score of 5 point before uh, 5.0.7 5.0.5 before that sco unix 4 3.2 we can uh, install 3 to you know t- we can actually use this upgrade w- upgrade option uh, if if we are using 5.5 or 4 or 3.2 it's easily easy to you know migrate just you know we have to give um, system a name and uh, then again uh, you know we had to select whether it is full operating system or core core is nothing but you know minimal uh, uh, installation files and uh, full means you know it will take the full extract from the cd um yeah we had to uh, select bad tracks on so but that means you know the system will it will check the bad i nots basically the bad tracks and it will detect uh, the, you know if there is any bad tracks and it will fix it or it will prompt us you change the hard disk and this will erase all the disk because it's a ufs um unix file system a networking network card you know if you press uh, you, uh, we can see the 
ತ್ರೀ ಲಿಂಕ್ ತ್ರೀ ಕಾಮ್ ಇದನ್ನು ಹಂಡ್ರೆ ಹಂಡ್ರೆ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಎಮ್ ಬಿ ಬಿ ಎಸ್ ಲಿಂಕ್ ಏನು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಫರ್ಡ್ ವಿ ಡ ನಾಟ್ ಗಿವ್ ಎನಿ ಐ ಪಿ ಅಡ್ರೆಸ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಡಿಫರ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿಥಿಂಗ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಮೌಸ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಕಾನ್ಫಿಗರ್ ದ ಪಿ ಎಸ್ ಟು ಒನ್ then accept all your boy choices password uh, i'm not giving any password it's it's enter enter as i told you uh, now the system will check the bad tracks it started actually now it's uh, it will check the tracks and uh, head then after this um, basically it will start the installation now it will uh, it will extract it's going to extract all the installation files um i'm 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 pretty lucky person in fact you know i started um, the it industry uh, my career in long 1997 98 time so i got an opportunity to work with almost all the operating system and uh, and definitely i will share the experience with you all uh, unix where um novel network windows 3.11 windows 95 uh, then cinex then all linux then deck alpha then uh, iris then yeah almost i got an opportunity to work in almost all the operating systems till now and solaris 2.x uh, um, onwards system version release for so i think uh, yeah now installation is almost uh, over here um, basically uh, we had to press control d for uh, multi user mode Uh, if you want to uh, get into the single user mode that means you know in it one uh, we can actually just you know type uh, this one and we can do the maintenance and all um, now it ended in uh, in it level 2 that means without networking you know all file systems will mount without networking and in it 3 yeah it will load all the operating you know all the device drivers and uh, yeah this um, uh, normally i won't use the uh, geo highs and uh, just you know for uh, for the academic purpose in fact you know i'm showing this to you all yeah thank you very much uh, watching this and uh, squadmin is basically the administration command using squadmin we can